So are you a Toyota guy or Toyota gal? If so, you probably know what this is. It's a Land Cruiser, and to be more specific, a 1996 Land Cruiser. And this is a special generation. <laughs> Because it has a solid front axle. And if you're going off-road, well, that is great because it means more traction. Unfortunately, it also has a straight six that's, especially up here in Colorado, a little underpowered. But don't fear, there's a solution. I'm going to tell you about that coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. out guys not sure if you can see it but the old 200 or so horsepower straight six gone in its place is the newer eight cylinder that puts out I think 270 ish horsepower from the 100 series that's right what they've done is they've taken the engine from the 100 series and replaced it into this 80 series which makes it a lot more drivable and a lot more fun Uh, one of the things that we specialize in here at Slee Off-Road is going to be an engine conversion that we take an older vehicle and bring back life to it, yeah. um, meaning the power to weight ratio is going to be much better. What we did in this vehicle is we did a 4.7 drivetrain from a 100 series Land Cruiser into an 80 series Land Cruiser, which really makes the truck feel like it should on the road and going up those hills. So why don't you translate that? Basically, you took a six-cylinder out of it and put right. an eight-cylinder into yeah, it. Yeah, straight six, which is really not really used by Toyota in any other vehicles or models. Yeah. And what we did is we brought back life to it by adding a, a more of an updated drivetrain, meaning a 4.7. Um, so you're going to get a lot more power, a lot more torque, as well as uh, when you're driving up a lot of the hills that we have here in the Denver area and the Colorado region and the Rockies, you're really going to be suffering on the hills, and that's really going to change that for this vehicle's weight. difficult to swap out an engine I mean there's a lot of things that obviously are attached to the engine right a lot of electronics even back in the 90s we still had electronics right, <laughs> right. air conditioner cruise control all that kind of stuff right um, you know there's a lot of components to answer your question everything from uh, the plumbing the wiring um, and also the fitment of the motor as far as making some uh, motor mounts all the way down to very specific custom pieces that we build in-house Um, this was Toyota's only really solid front axle vehicle this year and this generation. Um, it is, of course, produced overseas, but um, in the U.S., this has a great following because of the solid axle and what this vehicle can offer off-road. So the next gen is independent, independent front suspension. Correct. And so when you're out there uh, bashing boulders, right, the, the wheels don't right. necessarily have as much contact with the ground. This is, this is going to give you a lot more possibilities off-road, a lot more lift height options. Just a lot more ability off-road, especially if you're going to want to conquer those uh, extra difficult terrains. So this is the 4.7 drivetrain into the 80 series Land Cruiser. Still a work in progress. We're finishing up a few components of the installation, but this particular customer wanted us to go through and really make the wiring harness clean, which we always love to do. Uh, one of our specialties in-house, as well as powder coat a lot of the specialty products that we have, such as the fan shroud, motor mounts, uh, intake. Um, all those things have been powder coated to just set it off a little bit more and make it uh, very visually appealing. Where do you get the donor engine? You know, it's usually a low miles engine that we find. Uh, then we go through it um, and completely recondition it so that it can have uh, many, many uh, miles to come on it. Absolutely. Can this is, uh, we take this to a, 
dealership and they work on it once now and then? That's the beauty of this swap is that you can really go anywhere in the U.S. or outside of the U.S. and say the motor and the drivetrain is from a 98 Land Cruiser. Um, they can plug into the OBD2 port and do everything they need to do on the truck as far as maintenance or diagnostics. Um, and it's very easy. The body, of course, is the 90, 97 Land Cruiser. So that's kind of the beauty in the swap, absolutely. All this fun, not cheap. The engine conversion, in fact, the whole powertrain conversion is $25,000. And they do it right here in Golden, Colorado at Slee Off-Road. But when you think about the cost of a brand new Land Cruiser and the fact that this is unusual and that you've got that solid front axle and all the traction that you can get with that, well, maybe it's not such a bad deal. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, reviews. Ciao.